Hello, and thank you for viewing. Today's daily challenges for Thursday, December 17th, 2020 are 1,000 distance traveled in boat with a posse member, 5 dry goods eaten, 1 place top 3 in a race, 1 player headshot with a bow in showdowns, 5 redfin pickerel caught, 1 visited a shop in strawberry, 1 weapons customized, 2 bounties brought in from West Elizabeth posters, 1 bounty completed without killing an enemy or bounty target, 3 more than 1 bounty target brought in at once, 20 carcasses donated within 10 minutes, 6 large animal carcasses donated to crypts, 1 resupply completed with 5 minutes left, 3 collectibles found with a shovel, 3 collectibles looted from non-player enemies, 3 collectibles sold to Mam Nazar, 2 crafted toxic moonshine, $200 made from moonshine sold, 4 moonshine served to other players at a bar, 5 animal samples taken within 10 minutes, 3 desert animal samples taken, and 3 forest river animal samples taken. And today you'll find Mam Nazar in the Blue Water Marsh of Lemoyne between Van Horn and San Ani. And as we all know, you can often get 10 out of 9 daily challenges for the rolls completed, because at 9 it normally locks you, but if when you are at 8 of 9 completed, you simultaneously complete 2 challenges, you often, not always, but often, get paid for both challenges. And today we can do that with the Bounty Hunter roll, 2 bounties running from West Elizabeth posters, along with... One bounty completed without killing an enemy or a bounty target. And then you could even actually go for 11 with three more than one bounty target brought in at once. That's, you know, a trifecta. You get all three of those at once when you're at 8 of 9. You might get paid for 11. Or you could do it with Trader. 20 carcasses donated within 10 minutes and six larger animal carcasses donated to Crips. Or you could do it with Naturalist and collect your fifth animal sample within five minutes while simultaneously getting desert animal samples taken or forest river animal samples taken as your fifth in 10 minutes. So that's three different ways you can do it. I think the most reliable way is probably through Trader, though. You know, the other ones can be kind of iffy, might mess them up. It's going to be more complicated. Trader's probably the easiest route. And if you go skin some alligators, the teeth off the alligators, also like feathers off of seagulls, various other animals, you can get collectibles looted from non-player enemies. And redfin pickerel's preferred weather is sunny. The best bait to use is bread bait. And I do recommend both of those things. It helps you weed through all the other fish. When you go for perfect conditions for pickerel, you'll catch more of them. It makes it a lot easier. So I hope this helps you out. I'll catch you all next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.